All right, so these are the 3D printed parts that I put together to make the centrifuge actually functional. So you've got basically the lid. I had some other designs originally, but this was the easiest one to basically print. I still want to actually get the outside kind of clear so you can see it a little bit better, but it does the job for hopefully protecting against shrapnel. Then we've got two more 3D printed parts, basically the rotor here, and then a base. Again, there are some minor tweaks you could do with the base to kind of get it to stay on the ground a little bit better when it's spinning, maybe adding sticky feet or something like that, but it does the job of holding the motor in. with some screws. And then the rotor holds the Eppendorf tubes. You can see here, this is just a another scaled up version for 50 mil tubes. Obviously I don't really want to run this one with plastic, but just so you can kind of see a little bit better what it looks like. These are actually from uh, TH Progress from Thingiverse, and I modified the files a little bit so that they would work um, with my particular BLDC motor. So, you can see, the motor basically attaches through that center hole, and you've got your tubes sticking on the sides. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need for the motor to really work as a centrifuge.